Calling agents in Manhattanville. Requesting an update on your status. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Hulk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, means and ends, Hulk. All of life is means and ends. for these particular means. Freedom! True freedom! No more feud! No more final! Wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What would you do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Ah, oh, like an old married couple, you two. You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about the We Murdered Spider-Man and used his corpse for a blanket? Hey! Target, please! You embarrass yourself! Yeah! <laughs> Octavius promise you, Scorpion. Money. Target has no fit. It's like mm. I ripped Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. Rhino's done. Time for 
fists of fury. We couldn't just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your soul uncrushed? There is fun in that! what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you, freak show! <laughs> A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's quarantine. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Captain, these Sable guys look like they forced all the residents out of a building so they could occupy it themselves. And locked up the ones who objected. Okay, that I can get something done about. But I need victims to come forward. I'll get the people out and have them file reports with the police. Lady Knight.
like not to have anywhere to stay. It's a good thing these Sable Agents have body armor, because I just might lose my temper. Drama? For what? Captain, the people that were locked up are headed back to their homes. Good. 
And I finally convinced the mayor's office that making constituents homeless was not good for his poll numbers, so they won't be pulling that stunt again. like this end up with awesome powers. Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a more hands-on way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hard-working, ordinary people of New York, so I'll just help via my talk show. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire room. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. We risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. down here we shouldn't either left my stupid inhaler upstairs i heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances the health emergency might do it really come on let's go talk to security that should do it Crap. jerry get out here we got a situation oh man i can't breathe let me back security up rooms open just need to get to the door without being seen Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. Just don't see why you guys need to be back. Hello. Because you run a cops are I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. You weren't even ready to work. Man, I, I set it down. Somewhere. I, I, swear, I swear your way out of here. We, okay. I like this thing. Continuing sector sweep. Gotta turn him around. Huh? Who's there? Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable. 
Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable. Wait! Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable. Right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Useless button. Hmm. <sighs> Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. What is this thing? This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. The fabulous Osborne. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. It's the combat prototype from the schematic. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but 
Was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um... the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Uh, 
This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location.
Copy. Making a sweep. Control, I saw something. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? scientist thing going on. Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis, optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Mm, kinda me. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Bravo, bravo, bravo. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27, Martin Lee incident. 
What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Running a sweep. We'll report status. Clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner.
to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. The cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. find it suspicious that this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads with someone and now maybe they'll go after some actual criminals Update from Lennox Hill. <laughs> Units with ride gear needed to respond to a violent disturbance. Please proceed to Columbia. 